Yes, I've come away tonight, or I'm supposed to be coming away, to do a video for you guys. Or to do a few videos, actually. Numpty didn't want to let me out. Uh, for the night and I've come away to try a few bits and pieces tonight because I've been sent some cool stuff to use for camping so I'm trying it out um, the first thing I'm using I'm trying to think who these people were who sent me this um, I can't remember <laughs> I'll put it at the top here somewhere or somewhere on the screen of um of who sent this to me so um thank you very much it's uh, it's basically a work light it's basically i think it was le if you can see that le it says le not le but le <laughs> yes thank you very much for sending me this um i've used it a few times and it's brilliant it's really good what I was looking for was a light to go in my awning, you see. And um, this measured up perfectly. It's um, it's all metal. And uh, the idea is, you see, you can, you can use it as a work light. Um, it's USB charged as well, so it's got a little little cable there, look. You, um, you unravel and plug into your USB port. So uh, you can keep it charged all the time. When it's in your van um, what else I thought was really good was that uh, when you get to the end I thought oh it's gonna be all um, you're gonna get a flippy end there's actually a magnet in there and it, yeah see can you see that it just sort of magnetics back in there which um, stops it falling out which I thought was really clever um, it's got it's a USB power bank as well. It's got um it's got a USB power thingy there in the back. Um so if you want to charge your phone or anything like that, it works as a power bank as well as just a light. Um it's got if you touch the button first, it comes up with how much power's in here. Um it's only on two bars at the moment because um I've been using it because it was quite press it again for full power I think it is and then half power I'm flashing as well you can see that we're off um power setting there you go that's full power <laughs> it's perfect for uh, for your awning which is what I wanted um, that's half power which you can see is 
again perfectly adequate um, I haven't actually used it on full power um, I've only used it on half power and it's been plenty bright enough um, it's got a it's got a little handle as well so that you can so you can rest it on things like that which um, is very good and uh, it's also got a thread in the end if you can see that um, I'm not sure if it's a tripod mount I haven't tried yet um, <clears throat> if it is a tripod mount then um, I'm going to be using this as a video light um, actually I have used this as a video light I can remember using it I used it in here as a fill light to go in the background so it was um it was basically like that I had that in the background one evening when I was doing a video um, it was just uh, making a bit of backlight which um, is really good that's that little light which um, if you want to get one it's in the description down below <laughs> quite impressed with that that was a nice little light that was so thank you for sending me that it's very useful and um, I've got a cook set as well um, which I got from Gearbest, I believe it was. Um, they sent. They said, "Would you like us to send you something of interest?" So uh, I said, "Well, thank you very much. I do need another cook set because um, my pans were a bit manky because they're quite old now." And um, they sent me this little cook set, which you can see now. And um, I'm going to be doing some cooking with him as well this weekend. Because um, I didn't want anything too big. I don't want huge pans. Um, I mean, most of the time I'm here on my own, so I only want a pan big enough for myself, um, rather than carrying tons of saucepans with me. I just wanted something small. So a camping set uh, worked perfectly. And this particular one has got a little egg poacher, a frying pan, a saucepan, and it comes with a couple of little bowls, a spork, a fork and spoon. Um, so uh, it's very handy but um, you'll see that in another video because uh, I'm going to be doing a cooking video probably tomorrow yes um, a competition for you guys the competition is to win a TomTom Tom Go Camper if you're interested in that one put it in the comments down below if you think I should do a competition um, it's going to be a brand new TomTom Tom. it won't be the Tom Tom that I've been used using so it will be a brand new one as I say I'll be mentioning more about that one in the next video so stay tuned winter's rolling in or rather autumn's rolling in it's uh, now getting darker a lot earlier now and um, the light is running out <laughs> Um, so I haven't got very long to do any more filming tonight um, I've got a few things to cover or I'm hoping to cover this evening I've got a few videos to film and it's running out of light I do have some lights but I uh, prefer to use natural light uh, something else I want to show you um, I don't know if you've seen this one but I've got another compact so thank you to Damon for this one um, he kindly got me this one because he knew my other one was broken and uh, I did his van for him and um, he got me this nice little camera so uh, I got this nice little Lumix this is the um, TZ55 which I like and I wanted something for vlogging because uh, it's got a flippy up screen yeah see it's not a touch screen but um, I thought it's really handy for a bit of uh, just a bit of a quick vloggy type stuff if you want to film something quickly and uh, you can whip it out <laughs> no pun intended yeah so I'll be, I'll be trying that out as well uh, you probably see the start of this video is filmed on this so far so good I've only used it for the last day or so so it's been um, it's a bit of a tryout but so far I'm enjoying using it what else did we have to mention? Um, I can't remember. Um, I've showed you the light. <laughs> Link's in the description down below. So uh, if you want a light, go and get another light. If you want another light, um, 
a good nice strong work light which is waterproof because it's water sealed anyway whatever um yeah so if you wanted to get one of these links in the description down below um the pot set which is here <laughs> um links in the description down below the camera and the competition that's the one i think that's it for now right let's put the kettle on and have a coffee guys it's getting dark it is um 20 to 7 nearly and uh it's getting dark already so i'm gonna finish my coffee and um i guess i'll settle down for the night so um yeah we'll have a chat in the morning um probably get up and go for a walk in the morning have a walk round hopefully if it's not too wet um, look out for a separate cooking video as well um, and, uh, and that pan set I'm gonna try out so um, yeah so see you in the morning there we go breakfast done Breakfast done, cleaned up, and uh, drink me cup of tea, and then um, I'll take Ellie for a walk. <coughs> so, this is quite an interesting vlog, this one, because it's step by step <laughs> of disasters. And it's a tryout of the TZ55, really, more than anything. Um, there is lots of clips from other cameras as well, but... Um, yeah, I know with it this morning. Ellie got me up for the toilet at four o'clock, so I'm half asleep. Right, finish me tea. See you soon in a minute. I'm um, <laughs> I'm hunting something unusual this morning. Um, I walked up here uh, probably, probably about a year ago now, and um. I spotted something on the side of the road <laughs> and uh, I recognised what it was and um, I thought that is really useful and you know what it was? It was a Mark IV Transit bumper end cap <laughs> and you're talking like early 90s here between 1990 and 1994 and um, I found this end cap on the side of the road. So uh, I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to go and find it. Not that the mine aren't any use. They're all right. But um, I thought it's handy to have a spare because it's the near side one, you see, and uh, they're quite easy to rip off. If you get caught, if you get them caught in a little bit of uh, shrubbery or something on the side of the road, you can um, you can rip them off. Which is why they changed the design after 94. Uh, I thought, what a funny thing to find upon the Mendips. But I recognised what it was straight away. So um, I thought it would be a good thing to hunt out for. <laughs> so I'm not looking for geocaches. I'm looking for Mark IV bumper end caps this morning. <laughs> Well, we've walked about two miles, and um, look what I found! There's a Mark IV Transit end cap. <laughs> Slightly damaged, but um, yeah. I'm going to take that home. Um, crack in! Right, let's go back now. Nice one. 
I got me, I got me part. <laughs> oh, now I brought half a ton of mud in with me. It's been there for quite a while. 1994. <laughs> Surprising what you can find when you go out for a walk. So, uh, that's a go in the spare parts box. Right, that's it. Um, yeah. Cool vlog, that one. That was a... Uh, just to on the fly and try it and see what it's like. So, um, yeah, love and light, guys. Have a great rest of the day. And, um, see you next vlog.